due to the physical certificate being produced as a specific record date position and fully paid loans being active on that record date, TradeStation was allocated less shares than the firm's overall customer position. If your shares were not yet transmitted to AST, they are being held on TradeStation's books of record versus open loans with various lending counterparties. What is going on guys? Lottery Stocks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, I want to start the video off by saying shorts are not safe and we're going to talk about why. But first, before we get into AMC and plenty of other stuff, I want to talk about nvidia first things first we all know what nvidia just did after earnings adding nearly 250 billion dollars in market cap so far in one day putting the stock on track to post the biggest single day market cap gain in stock market history the previous record was meta just 20 days ago after reporting their quarterly earnings and nvidia is now just five percent away from being the third u.s company with a two trillion dollar market cap big tech stocks are getting bigger and bigger this is nvidia's stock chart a gap all the way from down here at 665 all the way to 780 dollars over a 100 dollar gain in a single night a single day this stock just does not stop and kind of rightfully so nvidia says it spent 9.2 billion dollars on buying back its own stock and they also slaughtered earnings absolutely smoking analyst estimates over the past one two three four five earnings right will this continue where will it max out at a lottery stocks how are short sellers screwed well this is just the first thing and i'm sure you saw the beginning of the video which we're going to talk about a little bit later about brokers not actually holding shares but short sellers rake in profits as red hot super micro computer stock falls 8%. Short sellers who bet against shares have reaped significant profits since then. Investors shouldn't expect SMCI stock to bounce back to its previous highs of $1,000 a share. Nvidia had plenty of sympathy plays and short sellers were loaded up on this one in particular, ticker symbol SMCI. What happened to SMCI? A jump from $692 to $928. An almost $275 gain in a single night. Shorts are getting piped with a rusty, rusty pipe. And this is just one example. Now, a couple other sympathy plays that NVIDIA hit was ARM, ticker symbol ARM. Also, jumping all the way from the bottom of this wick from 115 all the way up to about 150. 40, which is absolutely insane. And a crypto RNDR up 10% on the day that we talked about in Discord. And I also brought it up to you guys on YouTube. This crypto is killing it. Put it on your radar. Volume is just increasing. They are in the AI space doing some decent, decent things. And I think NVIDIA just proved a little bit of an addition to their proof of concept, right? Now, before we get into the overall market, I didn't ask you guys yet, but please hit the like button. It helps push the video out to more AMC shareholders like you guys and also subscribe to the channel and have post notifications on because we are just brushing 20,000 subscribers. US jobless claims rise 201,000 estimated at 217 and previously 213,000. We also had the FOMC where not much went on, but basically giving the same sentiment. The Fed is worried about cutting rates too fast, but the Fed is also worried about having inflation last too long. So they're trying to find a sweet spot. That sweet spot is not being priced in for March. It's likely to be priced in for May. Looking at the SPY, 505.60. A major, major gap from 493.50 all the way up to 505.50. Breaking right above the top of this parallel channel that we have drawn out right above this double top and basing off of it. If the full candle, if the full daily candle ends up closing above 503.75, right? 503.75 to 504, the SPY is looking extremely good for the time coming forward. Now, we want to see more volume pick up on this gap higher. Don't get me wrong, but shorts are short. The overall market, they're getting ripped. They're getting squoes out. Shorts are short. NVIDIA, they're getting ripped. They're getting squoes out. SMCI, any other tech stocks, they're getting absolutely slaughtered. If you take a look right here at what hedge funds are doing, hedge funds cut Magnificent 7 in last quarter. Hedge funds have started selling stakes in the Magnificent 7 despite the bumper yada yada yada. The news articles, and we showed you yesterday the legitimate filings, institutions, hedge funds, were betting against what's happening. We're betting against the trend. And now the trend is going the opposite way. What is going to happen from here? I'm going to leave that up to you. As of right now, we're taking a look at AMC 439, down about 4% on the day. If AMC breaks below 428 it's going to be bad 428 is that bottom level that i'm watching and also if you bring in the bollinger bands that is also the midline for the bollinger bands on amc so that's another thing to note as well 428 invalidation 
if AMC breaks below it. Otherwise, that is the bottom. Lottery stocks, why is it even selling off this hard? If we take a look at what we've been tracking, there's not much to say here. It's scaled up. It's getting a little bit of a cool off. It's calm. Not much is happening, just like everything else. Ethereum Classic is getting a little bit of a cool off. GameStop is getting a little bit of a cool off. We're going to talk about that in one second. As of right now for AMC, the market is doing well. As soon as crypto is done with this sideways chop trading, this little bit of a cool off that it, that it is in, right? These tech stocks are leading the sector. These tech stocks are leading the entire trend across the overall market. Just be very, very careful because institutions misplace their money. Hedge funds are misplacing their money. And when those guys fail, you're going to see heavy moves one way or the other. Watch 525 and 545 for the first leg up on AMC. And this can happen at any point in after hours. Also keep in mind that earnings is also coming up February 28th on AMC, which is the next catalyst that we have to pay attention to. If we take a look, now we are losing on the options chain slightly 7,000 calls compared to 12,000 puts expiring in the money. Chances are they are going to keep AMC right around this level for the close tomorrow, Friday. So market makers can collect a a little bit of premium so we don't close above max pain yada 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 so i wouldn't expect a large move tomorrow for amc uh, also short exempts have been died down the past couple of days which means they probably have more firepower coming into tomorrow as well Ortex is showing 12.22 percent short interest on amc with 30.61 million shares shorted which means since two days ago since we have that t plus two system shorts added right because i believe it was 12.12 now it's 12.22 percent so not much of a change there we just watch it for direction we watch it for trend looking at gamestop 13 dollars 51 cents kind of flat on the day getting a little bit of a hammer candle here we're breaking below this channel and we're testing it as resistance now at 1355 not something we want to see we want to see a clean break right back through this channel and a lot of volume to bring us back above 14 dollars and 60 cents otherwise if gamestop continues to break lower watch a break under 1255 gamestop 1200 calls compared to 5300 puts expiring in the money we are losing on the options chain short exams also die down on gamestop as well now what we started the video off with was something from trade station themselves it looks like trade station is committing fraud and has accidentally just admitted it to a customer if you take a look here i'd like to initiate the transfer process i've done this prior to ast for other stocks ages ago so i know it's not a difficult process we can't do it at this moment okay so basically why not trade station says at this time they sent the majority of their original certificate shares to ast to be held on their books they are d minus amount of shares remaining in the current certificate and therefore new requests cannot be accepted until a time when trade station receives any new certificate of own shares of NBH or NBH becomes tradable in the open market or made electronically available. So TradeStation doesn't own actually shares of NBH on their books. Is that what they are saying? Are they taking money from people? They say this due to the physical certificate being produced as of a specific record date position and fully paid loans being active on that record date. TradeStation was allocated less shares than the firm's overall customer position. If your shares were not yet transmitted to AST, they are being held on TradeStation's book of record versus open loans with various lending counterparties. So basically, TradeStation said they have less shares than the customer's positions. After this large message from the customer, they just say they didn't take your money. Now, if this is unbelievable, take a look at a stock that has been on the threshold securities list for over 15 years, XRT. But wait, why is it this in stock lending hard to borrow stocks that are part of the basket can have synthetic shorts created you can synthetically short the htb stock by shorting etf buying rest of the basket xrt is the s p retail etf that has been on the threshold for 15 years absolutely insane the corruption is being shown more and more through retail investors continue the fight guys we are going to change this market hopefully soon sl 194.50 holding as hard as possible wicked below the channel and it is trying its hardest to hold this level. We need to see a positive catalyst tomorrow for Tesla so we can move higher. Bitcoin, literally nothing happening. Sideways trading. Speaking of crypto, I wanted to talk about this. Ethereum ETF approval. Coinbase has backed Grayscale's bid to transform its Ethereum trust into their spot Ether ETF. Now, Ethereum ETF may just be approved in March or May. Just be aware of this, right? It hasn't come out yet. Ethereum recently surpassed 3,000, and I think it has a lot more room to go. So keep this one on your radar as, as well as RNDR. Finally, the last sprinkle on top, AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile suffer nationwide outage. 911 infected in multiple counties. This is sketchy. I don't want to 
you know, maybe this is just a simple problem. I'm not going to go down the conspiracy loophole, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And also let me know if you have one of these providers, because I personally have AT&T as well. Before we close out the video, guys, get in the Discord. Come talk with me. I'm in there on the daily. I also post my positions when I take them. We have options trading alerts in there. We talk stocks as well as crypto. Come level up your trading journey. Talk with the most amazing people. There is the best vibes in here. Whether you're a beginner or advanced trader, this is the place to go. It's the second link under the video. And the first link is the Moomoo -moo link where you can get 15 free stocks for doing nothing. Open a broker account through Moomoo like you would Weeble or Robinhood or any other broker and deposit a penny into there. They're going to hand you free stocks. They're going to say here's 8.1% APY on your uninvested cash for three months with zero risk and then 5.1% for the rest of the year. They're giving you the best benefit, in my opinion, than any other broker. And it's a free platform. So again, that link is in the top of the description and pinned in the top comments. You just have to sign up, open an account and deposit even a penny. That is it, guys. I love you all. Lottery stocks out.